Hey, what up you guys? This is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Sudden Impact. We're not just gonna let you walk out of here. Who's we, sucker? Smith and Wesson and me? Now, I've only seen the first Dirty Harry movie, and now I've seen this one, the fourth. I haven't seen part two, three, or five. But that's going to change soon. I got the collection on the way. This movie was awesome. I was not expecting it to be this much entertainment. This has, like, scene after scene of, like, Clint Eastwood at his most, like, famous catchphrasey catchphrasiness. I don't know what you call it. This is the one with like go ahead punk make my day and um just all this kind of shit. I was fucking cracking up like the whole movie. He's fucking giving heart attacks to mobsters um grabbing people in the elevator in the courtroom and like giving like that Clint Eastwood fucking dialogue um taking out robbers right as he gets a cup of coffee. This is like a canon movie almost, but it's put out by Warner Brothers. Yeah, this was just awesome. This was fucking hilarious. I'm surprised I've never seen this. Hey, Callahan. Don't look so puked out. Better luck next time, fool. <laughs> Listen, punk. To me, you're nothing but dog shit. You understand? And a lot of things can happen to dog shit. It can be scraped up with a shovel off the ground. It can dry up and blow away in the wind. Or it can be stepped on and squashed. So take my advice. Be careful where the dog shit you. And I would recommend this to anyone that likes, you know, basically any cop uh, action movie ever. Or if you like, like, um... Miss 45 or uh, the Death Wish movies, of course. Any of that kind of stuff. This has, like, corny 80s rap on the soundtrack. Like, not, like, good stuff like Run DMC or anything. It has, like, this, like, very generic rap music. This was directed by Clint Eastwood, so I'm guessing he was just like, I want some rap music in this movie. And, of course, it takes place in, um, part of it takes place in uh, San Francisco, which I live very close to. So that was cool to see. All right, so let's get into the plot. Uh, this is, um, the main villain in this is a woman. She's not really a villain. She's a vigilante. She got raped when she was a, when she was like a teen. Her sister got raped too, and her sister's comatose. So she's out for revenge, and she's taken out, um, the people that used, that raped her. She remembers all of them, and, uh, she's going around killing them. And so Dirty Harry is on vacation uh he got put on vacation because of um he went up to a mobster and had all these like fake reports and was saying all this stuff in front of his family the mobster had a heart attack right in front of his whole family so the police uh chief was like callahan you're going on vacation so he's like i'm not up for vacation punk so he has to go on vacation because of that Basically, it's like being suspended, but they're just putting him on vacation. And while he's on vacation, he's trying to solve this case of who's killing all these guys. She shoots him in the dick. Uh, she shoots all these guys in the nuts, blows their fucking dick off. So Callahan, uh, Dirty Harry, is going around trying to figure out who's doing this. And that's pretty much the plot. Some stiff's got himself a 38 caliber for second. <laughs> Harry, he don't look so hot. That night, all nookied out. This has a lot of, like, scenes uh, that have nothing to do with the plot. Like, uh, he goes in for a coffee and the store is being robbed, so he shoots the robbers and stuff like that. Lots of chase scenes with people that have nothing to do with the rest of the movie. But it's very, very entertaining. Yeah, this is just fucking awesome. I give this one five out of five stars. That's sudden impact. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of the Dirty Harry movies. Let me know which one is the best one. Uh, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe.
or hit the down button if you think you got the guts, punk. Well, do ya? Do ya? All right, you guys, peace out.